Hey everybody, I am David and uh, today I want to talk about some news that dropped recently. Uh, Deadline is reporting that Samuel Jackson is confirmed to be in the Captain Marvel movie. Captain Marvel is going to be Marvel's first female-centric superhero film, uh, similar to how Wonder Woman was this year's uh, DC's uh, first official-centric uh superhero film um okay they had a couple of other ones before but this one was the first good one and we know marvel they're great at making movies can you imagine if captain marvel turns out to be the first big flop for marvel i feel so sorry for them uh but we we all know marvel's gonna knock it out of the park um they have been with all their other films black panther looks like it's on the right track as well. Can't wait for Spider-Man Homecoming this weekend. Getting amazing reviews already. And then Thor Ragnarok is in November. Uh, Marvel, I love what they do. So give me more. Uh, Captain Marvel, I'll definitely be in theaters to see it. And now you're adding Samuel Jackson to the mix. Uh, this sounds awesome. Uh, my only worry about this is that I've heard rumors before the official... <laughs> casting announcement was announced i feel like this was rumored and then like marvel didn't want it to be a rumor so they're like let's just announce it so it's it's already confirmed um i feel like you know they just got it out of the way uh my only concern for this is um i don't want them there was a rumor that nick fury is going to play a uh, co-starring role and uh, that kind of worries me a little bit because I don't want this to be the Captain Marvel and Nick Fury movie I want this to just be centered on Captain Marvel make her stand on her own I don't think she needs a male you know supporting lead um, to co-star with her I think he needs to be a supporting player and i think that that's what he will be after all it is rumors that that nick fury would play a co-starring role um i think he'll play more of a mentorship role uh after all i i believe nick fury is one of the other characters that they are planning on wrapping up his arc with the last two avengers films and um, it is my theory that, you know, I don't think it's a theory. I think this is what everybody is expecting. While they're closing the chapter on many of the older characters, I think Captain Marvel is going to take the place of the next Captain America. I think she will be the leader of the Avengers after the old Avengers. Unless it's not the Avengers anymore and it turns out to be something completely different. I do think they're going to start off with Spider-Man because he's the most popular of the group. And Spider-Man is going to be the Iron Man of the MCU for Phase 4. But I do feel just like how the MCU started off with Iron Man as, you know, the big honcho. I do feel that similar to Captain America, how the, the, the shift... The focus of the the MCU has focused a little bit more on Captain America in recent films. Uh, still a little bit on Tony Stark too. I think Tony Stark is now the second uh, focused on. But Captain America is definitely the, the first because he is the leader. And I think they started slowly switching that uh, around uh, the Winter Soldier around that time. And because when you watch Age of Ultron, I do feel... It's more through Captain America's eyes than through Tony's eyes. Um, and I feel that's what they're going to do first. Because Captain Marvel isn't going to be the most popular one. That's why uh, Phase 4 will start off with Spider-Man. And then eventually when we get to a Phase 5, I think they will start centering more on uh, Captain Marvel a little bit more. And have her be the leader of the Avengers if uh, the Avenger films do continue the way uh, I think they will. So uh, I could be totally wrong because I know jack shit about Captain Marvel. Uh, so I, I don't know how she is in the comics. I don't know anything about the character. 
So going to watch this movie is going to be completely new for me, uh, just like it was with Black Panther. Except with Black Panther, I had a little bit of knowledge with him because he was in one of the animated director videos. So I had a little bit of awareness of Black Panther. With Captain Marvel, I know nothing at all. I have never seen the character appear in an animated show that I watch. So, um, yeah, I'm going in with the blind eyes, I guess, for Captain Marvel. Uh, but having Samuel Jackson there, it's a, it's a great father figure type character, mentor character to have there. Uh, so that familiar presence that I think sometimes the Marvel movies need. Some Marvel, There's been very few Marvel movies that didn't have that familiar presence uh, Doctor Strange is one of them. That that didn't have any of the outside, you know, the MCU characters there to support that film. Doctor Strange was a movie completely on its own. You can argue that Guardians of the Galaxy did have a character outside of its own thing because they had Thanos, who was already established a little bit in the Avengers. We saw him very briefly in that, so we kind of knew that, okay, this is going to be connected. So, yeah, yeah. Ant-Man had the Falcon, so Doctor Strange so far is the only one that really didn't have no MCU characters. It only had its own characters that it was introducing. So, um, it's nice when, when we get something familiar. So, tell me what you guys think. Are you guys excited to see Samuel Jackson as Nick Fury return in captain marvel or uh uh did you were you hoping for another character and if you want tell me below a little bit of about captain marvel i like getting a little bit of knowledge i mean i could w w read wikipedia if i wanted to but uh there, there's so much easier ways to get information nowadays um and uh yeah i guess i'll end this here guys so subscribe to my channel uh, like this video, support me, and um, share this video as well if you want. Uh, let people know that, hey, this bozo thinks Nick Fury is a good choice to be in Captain Marvel. Um, and until next time, take care.